The next time you are trying to sell something or to launch something in your business, I encourage you to think just about the group of people that would be perfect for your offering. Instead of thinking you have to convince everybody of the value of your thing. Because in the effort to try to convince is where marketing or sales becomes uncomfortable for the reader, for the, for the viewer. Um, it, it's where the marketer or the seller uh, seems to kind of get desperate or pushy is when they don't feel like they're talking to somebody who really understands the value of the offering. But the truth is, if you believe in your offering, if you really think it's valuable for the person that can be helped by it, then the person who, for whom your offering is perfect won't need to be convinced by it, okay? It could be somebody in your audience, right? So let's say that you have 100 people who engage with your free content on Facebook or on YouTube or something like that. Out of those 100 people, maybe 10 of them are potential clients of yours who might buy something from you one day. And maybe one of them right now is wondering, wow, what do you offer? And when you make your offering, you're talking to that one person out of a hundred for whom it is right, right now. You see, they're so glad that you sent that email or that you wrote that post or that you made that video mentioning your offering because they've been kind of wondering what you do and they need help right now. Talk to that one person. Does that make sense? Well, this is why I talk so much in my videos about the, um, the business benefits of creating content regularly because and there's my dog buddy running wild in the forest here. <laughs> um, because as you create more content, you'll get more people engaging with you. And instead of 10 potential clients, you now have 20, 30, 100, 1,000. And then when you have 1,000 potential clients, um, who are following your content regularly, 10 of them at any, let's say, for example, 10 of them at any given time are wondering how to work with you now. And when you mention your offer, you're talking just to those 10. You're not trying to convince the other 990 or the other 10,000 who might follow your content or whatever it may be. Does that make sense? I was, talk, I was consulting with, um, with a woman who uh, is offering a high-end coaching program you know, lots of coaches offer this kind of thing. It's a $12,000 one year high end coaching program. And she was kind of apprehensive about, well, how should I offer in a way that people will understand the value, right? And what I've just said to you in the last three minutes is what I said to her is that it's kind of like when you apply to a top notch university, right? They're not trying to convince you Oh, please apply. Oh, please. I know it's, yes, our education, it costs six figures to come here, but, but we hope you see the value of it. No, they stand their ground. They're, just, they're talking just to the people who understand the value of that, of that education, who love that university and want to apply, want to get in. You are that your program or your offering is kind of like that for your ideal client. Another analogy is um, Black Friday in the United States, the day after Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, the day after Thanksgiving, uh, people line up for hours before the store opens. And when the store opens, they rush in and they buy the thing that they've been wanting to buy. You know, your offering is like that to a segment of your audience. That's why it's important to continually build our audience through beneficial content by showing our care for them, um, by helping them, and, and, and by regularly, occasionally, mentioning your services, your products, your programs, allowing the people who right now are wondering how to work with you or how to engage with your business so that they can say, oh, I'm so glad you mentioned it, okay? So in your marketing, don't try to convince anybody. Talk just to the segment of people who are right for your offering right now and keep growing your audience through content, through advertising your content, through networking, through uh, collaborating with other business owners, etc. But in your selling, in your launches, in your enrollment, talk to just the people who are right. You don't have to try to persuade or convince. You don't want to come across as, well, you don't want to be desperate. You don't have to be desperate 
and needy. Just stand your ground knowing that the perfect customer or client can't wait for you to share your offering with them.